we've literally just got to the room. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Let me just brighten it up. Oh my God. So I think we've been upgraded to a suite <laughs> because this is huge. Guys, we paid 30 pound for this room. <laughs> so I'm gonna do you guys the quickest room tour. So this is obviously our little living area. We've got like little seats over there. We've got this huge, oh, I just obsessed. Like, <laughs> I wish we were staying here for the whole trip, to be honest. Although the Cosmopolitan is amazing. I know that our room is not gonna be like this because look how big this is. So we've got this little area here. We've got the sofa here. We've got a little dining table here. A little like sink and kitchen facilities and stuff in here and then you go through these double doors and this is the bedroom so we've got a huge bed we've then got a dressing table over here honestly it's so big even just to walk around we've got this little section here not really sure what this is but we've got a huge TV and then on this side we've got a huge mirror and then the bathroom is like a double bathroom with a bath. And the shower is in here. <laughs> this is so big. It's an absolute madness. And then the toilet's in here. Oh my God. Sorry guys, I feel like the camera's so unsteady, but I'm just in shock. This is un real and i can't believe this is all ours loz don't you wish we were staying here the whole time now hello guys i feel like i'm the worst vlogger ever because i'm only just starting the vegas vlog now and we're actually like two nights in so i'm gonna treat this as the intro so hi hello and welcome back to my channel if you are new here then welcome and if you are returning then thank you so much but what you're gonna see now is basically what we've been doing for the past two days so we literally landed at like midnight on two nights ago and we as you'll see got upgraded we just booked a little like i think it was like 70 pound hotel because we had a palaver with the hotels which i'm not going to get into but we basically had to rebook them because it cancelled so we actually just booked like a really cheap one because we were like well we get here at like midnight so we don't really need like the best hotel um, and then we booked where we were meant to stay which is here in the cosmopolitan for the final two nights so you'll see the room tour you'll see the upgrade you'll also see we just had like a wonder yesterday i might put a bit of a voiceover on because the whole of yesterday i just took clips i didn't really speak and um, so i might do a little voiceover on that if not i'll just you'll just see it with some music of what we got up to yesterday um we did the grand canyon helicopter tour and oh my god loss what what would you raise it out of 10 10 10 11 10 yeah it was the probably one of the best things we've ever done it was magical it was like a movie it was honestly i was a little bit nervous at the beginning because it was like nearly 600 no it was like 530 pound and i was a little bit like bloody hell like i just wasn't expecting it to be that much and then when we were there i was like oh my god it was so worth it wasn't yeah, it oh goodness, so goodness, worth it um and we like landed had a picnic you'll see all the footage anyway um but yeah we basically went on a helicopter tour landed had a little picnic in the canyon and then flew back over the strip over like sunset it was just oh my god it was just amazing and then we did actually go to tau teo tau last night um for like a promoter dinner um and we went to the club but lost out of all the clubs we've been to do you think that was number four number the three interior was, interior was amazing beginning hour yeah to be fair, we were vibing at the start yeah we was vibing at the beginning it was fine but then the problem is in america versus the uk is because you get put on like promoters tables it's amazing you don't pay a penny love that love that we got a free dinner but it's just girls you're just around loads of other girls and i don't know like there's not a lot of like I don't really know. I just feel like I actually quite like the clubs in the UK where you can like just wander around. Even if you've got a table, like I feel like you can kind of wander. Um, but yeah, we ended up leaving at like 
midnight maybe yeah. um which is probably really early to leave a club but what we found in la was the clubs are literally 11 till 2 so by the time you hit like midnight half midnight i feel like you kind of know what the vibe's gonna be um so yeah we're not really sure that we're gonna go clubbing again in vegas which is weird because we literally thought that this was gonna be like a non-stop trip of like pool party beach party like day out etc but Loz has never seen Vegas before. I love it anyway. And I just feel like we're going to just explore hotels today. We're going to just go have a wonder, see what's there. We actually want to watch the Bellagio Fountains as well because we've not done that. We kind of saw them from lunch yesterday, which you'll see. Um, but yeah, we've not really like just watched them or anything. Um, and then we literally fly to New York tomorrow evening, which just feels a little bit chaotic. My hair has just been freshly washed. So girls will feel me here. It's just that awkward stage where I don't know what to do with it. I'm just like, I don't know where to put it, I don't know what to do. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head out for the day. We've just got ready. And I might try and actually speak over the vlog a little bit more because I've just been terrible, but it's been a bit long. It's been a bit chaotic. There's been a lot going on, so. Yes, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you guys have enjoyed the LA ones. If you haven't, I'll link them down below so that you can watch them because we were in LA for quite a while, so they're quite meaty vlogs. We got up to a lot as well. Um, and then we've got a lot more places to come, so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already because we've got New York vlogs, we've got Dominican, we've got Tulum, we've got Miami, we've got it all to come. So, yes. But I'm going to stop talking because this is the longest intro in the world. I'll put the footage in from yesterday and then... We'll go from there. So we've just checked into the Cosmopolitan. And actually, you know what? I'm not that mad that it's smaller because I'm obsessed. So we've got two double beds to ourselves, which is going to be so nice. How nice that we're going to have our own bed each. Um, and then a little TV stand, little TV. I say little. They're both absolutely huge. And then my favourite part of the room always is the bathrooms. I just love these the showers in here and you can like semi see through into the bedroom but you kind of can't oh my god it's literally the same room me and mum had it feels so weird being back but i love it um and then this is the toilet in here and then you've just got like your little storage rail here and then the wardrobe is behind this this is a little ortd as well i've just got these little cycle shorts on black top telfer and dior's but this is a good mirror is the view nice? No, is it not? We'll go take a peek at the view. Oh no, yeah, it's not um, it's not the Bellagio view, but we're still here. We saw a little view this morning, and this is the rooms. Is this not the most perfect mini bar? I literally feel like they've known that we're coming because there's Fiji water. Pringles and M&M's which I've literally been obsessed with the whole trip and then in the little fridge We've even got coconut water Prosecco little grey goose and then a Stocked fridge. I feel like it's literally life goals to have a full like stocked drink fridge because it was quite limited on gluten free um, but yeah we are literally having lunch with a view right now oh my god Vegas is so sunny right now Who do you pray on my weakness? Set this 
TD. This dress is a little bit see-through, not sure if you can tell, but it's just a little sheen dress with Loz's bag, which I think I'm going to have to buy when I get back to the UK because I just love it so much. Although it's tell for American, because if it is, it might be cheaper to get them out of here. It is, but I don't know if you can actually get them. No, I can't. That colour's really hard to get as well. Brilliant. Brilliant. There's, there's my dream down the air toilet. But this is the outfit of the day. So it's just this little sheen dress. Oh my god, it's actually more see through than I thought. I've got this bag here to actually cover my knickers because I don't know if you can see. Well, actually, no, you can really see my knickers, but it's the comfiest dress. It's something to throw on. I don't feel disgusting in it. I feel kind of pretty in pink, so we're just gonna roll with it. Dior's, you guys know the drill by now. Um, and yeah, my hair's just fluffy, freshly washed. This is OLTD. Top sheen, skirt we don't know. Shoes, AliExpress. Is the bag on? Yeah. Bag AliExpress, and then I'm wearing the Dior glasses. And Loz has confirmed these are the comfiest shoes in the world. Nineteen pound. I remember when we found them, and we were like, oh. yeah. I mean, the fact they're comfier than Yeezy says everything. Yeah. Loz just realised the skirt was the um, wrong way, but yeah, this is the fit of the day. Vegas day two technically, but day th it's technically day three, but it's only day two for us. So yeah. So, we're back in the Venetian. Anyone that watched my first ever Vegas vlog will know about the Venetian. Me and Mum came to stay here the first time that we came to Vegas. And we're back. And it feels very surreal. What I was telling Loz about as well is the sky. Like every, like the ceiling's just sky. It's crazy. But I'm gonna make sure that me and Loz go on the boats today because... <laughs> the best thing ever. We've just come to this little Italian restaurant 
Look how cute this is. It feels like really, sorry. <laughs> oh, that lemonade looks good. So, I've got the gnocchi, the vodka pasta, it's like a vodka gnocchi. And then Loz has got the gluten free, of course. And then mushroom risotto, which looks insane. I love this as well. I love that this is like a little cute. <laughs> I love that this is. I don't know, I, just, I really like this little thing. <laughs> ice cream place and look at all the seats. I feel like this is your heaven. I think these are like all the ice cream flavours and then these are all the toppings. Oh my god. Thinking about tomorrow. they come out and caught sunset how cute good morning guys I feel like you can't really see too much because the lighting is a little bit crazy but it's officially the last day in Vegas this has gone so fast it's a joke but last night I didn't bring the vlogging camera but Loz won what did you win in the end like 50 yeah, 50 something dollars last night on the slots and yeah the jackpot and roulette wasn't it you won on roulette didn't you like 11 um I lost it all I feel like I'm literally the prime example of someone that just thinks they're gonna win their money back and never does. I actually won like 30 something at one point. Not while the red hand's on. But yeah, so I managed to lose my money, lost one. I think we're gonna bet again today because we're just kind of loving it. Um, but yeah, it's the last day, so we're gonna explore Caesar's Palace today because we haven't seen that. And the shopping centre is amazing, so I feel like Loz will love it. And then we could even do another hotel easy, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that is the plan of action today. We've just checked out. But yeah, we thought we'd be able to use this bar for free, obviously with being guests. And it's like not a very cheap hotel, so we assume we would get to use like the spa facilities. But I think a resort pass was like $80 a day. And because we were only really going to use it just for like maximum probably an hour today, just to kind of get showered, changed, etc., it just didn't really make sense to do it. So we're going to come explore. We're just near the Bellagio right now. We've got Paris behind us and the Eiffel Tower. Um, and yeah the last day in Vegas. My hair's a little bit crazy because I didn't really style it but yeah it's officially the last day in Vegas. So we're just walking down the street and I think there's like a campaign for Tickle Pink. 
don't know if you can see. There's loads of cars with like pink ribbons on. Must be some sort of like campaign maybe. And we're literally, I don't think you guys are going to hear that well, but we're sat right next to the fountain. It's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god, this is so sick. Look at this trainer wall. I cannot cope with this. Guys, this shop literally has every single sneaker. They've got the bare bricks. They've got all like these like limited edition trainers. Like, look at these. Oh, it's worked on all the ones I've done. But they've got all the cars as well. How cute. <laughs> They've literally got every single colorway of these. They've got the whole like Louis Vuitton trainer collection, the Travis Scott. It's honestly mad in here. Literally every color. They've got all like the off-white collabs as well. Love these so much. But they've literally just got everything. And then this is the back wall. Like, I'm sorry, how big is this? Imagine if this is your wardrobe, please. I'm obsessed. favorite little ice cream spot in the Venetian. It is so nice. You guys might recognize it. I can't wait. It's so nice in here. Oh my god, we've just come into Walgreens and the fridges are so cool. Like look, if you want this drink, no problem. It's just in here. Absolutely. Brilliant. This is actually really cool. Wow. Does it say when they're like sold out? Sorry. Oh, it's clicked you, Crane. Oh. Huh. So what part are you came from? At the north. We're f Do you know, have you heard of Manchester? Mm hmm Yeah, we're from like, not far from there. Okay. What brought you out to Vegas? Pardon? What brought you out here to Vegas? Well, we started in LA. We've, we only came to Vegas like two days ago. Was it two days, three days ago? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then we're going to New York tonight. 